as we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. As our lives change from whatever, we will still be friends forever. Congratulations to the 100th graduating class, class of 2021. We made it. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable But in the end that's right I hope you had the time of your life
Hey guys, it's Breen's Lean, and welcome back to the last episode of What's Up GB. We're going to ask seniors their favorite moments in high school. What's your favorite memory from high school? Probably uh, our senior football season, like the class 2021, all the uh, stuff that we accomplished. My favorite memory at Grand Lake High School this year was the senior scavenger hunt that I got to be a part of. I think it was really fun. It got all the seniors out, and we just had a good weekend. I would say our freshman year homecoming. Going to states three years in a row. When I was in the student section, and I had on a hot dog suit, and I went crowd surfing. What's your favorite memory of high school? It was fun. During winter, I'd always wear a red coat, so I'd freak out the kids vaping in the bathroom because they'd think I was a red shirt when I walked in. I saw one time this kid shoved a whole vape in his mouth to try and hide it from me. He was so freaked out. I'm honestly going to miss that. It was pretty fun to watch. I remember in honors chem class, we were trying to do like a experiment with ice, like changing the water to ice. And one of our partners dropped one of the ice into like the test tube and the test tube cracked in half. So I thought that was just really funny and just something unexpected. Uh, one time Larry let me go on the roof to take pictures during the protest. And I brought like a six pack of energy drinks up there and I snuck a bunch of friends up there too. And we brought like uh, lawn chairs. It was really good. So that was fun. What's a good memory that you have? So after swim practice, one time we had a Halloween costume contest and that was that thing from Spongebob that looks like a, a turd on wheels and I had like green felt on but nothing under it and they were rolling me out of the athletic entrance and it ripped off of me and I was butt naked <laughs> in front of like all of the all of the red shirts man like that that wasn't a good memory but I should have I just think it's good to share it you know. Brooklyn what's your favorite teacher memory? Um, I would probably say when I was in 11th grade Mr. Pierce made hot chocolate for us right before spring break and it was very tasty. What's your favorite teacher moment? My favorite teacher moment is Wayne Gang in Mr. Wangler's classroom. Uh, I gotta go with Mr. Schuster on that one. Man is a goat, taught some great chemistry, and overall just a great guy. And Mr. Hugo, honorable mention. Liked him a lot too. My favorite teacher is Mr. Ender because he was just the goat and never marked tardies. Mrs. Kaufman. Why? She listens to understand, not just listens to respond. Uh, Miss Kish, because it's just Miss Kish and she doesn't give any work really. That's not hard. Um, my favorite teacher is Mr. Babiez. He's always just so like fun and lets us do like do our own thing and helps us with anything that we need. And he was really good in our, in our leadership class. He was just so cool. Miss Sheback. Why? Because uh, her class was just really fun. Uh, Frau Decker or Miss Decker. Why? Uh, she was just. I mean, she never really like got on me or like yelled, and she was just chill the whole time. My favorite teacher is Mr. Moore. He was a great econ teacher, and I was so close to being a guru, but I. <laughs> What are you going to miss most about high school? I'm probably going to miss the student section and the fact that we're all unified as one uh, class. I think that's something really important and special that I'm going to miss the most. I think the thing I'm going to miss most about high school is uh, Gavin Neifert. <laughs> Mr. Kalo, the GOAT. Uh, the football games. I'm missing Ryan every day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't, you can't just bombard me like that. Let me, I need to think about it. I'm going to miss my friends. I'm Mr. Andreessen. Mr. Andreessen, for sure. It was lame. Our senior year was awful. <laughs> Obviously, it's playing tennis with Riley Johnston. I'm going to miss high school soccer the most. You know, we won just won SVL, baby. Woo! Uh, the student section and going to football games the most, probably. What are you going to miss most about high school? I'm going to miss all my friends being in the same place. Uh, we're going to go off to college. Everybody's going to split up. It's going to be sad. Um, I'm going to miss going to school with people that I've grown up with my whole life. Uh, probably seeing Luis Martinez every day. He's really my pride and joy in life, and I'm just gonna straight up miss him. He's a bro. What are you going to miss most about high school? Well, I'll probably miss my boys, um, all the people that I've gone to school with since kindergarten, and probably like playing sports with people. I'm gonna miss hanging out with uh, Pythons at football games and hanging out with all my friends uh, in high school, and I'm gonna miss Michigan because we go into St. Louis, baby. You know, Grambling boys tennis. Ski team. I would say that I will miss being in the marching band in the color guard and also winter guard. Being late and parking in the teacher's lot every day. What I'm going to miss most is definitely the sporting events like football and the student section and cheering at the games. I'm really going to miss uh, substitute teachers mispronouncing my name all the time. That was that was really fun. And also Rafid. How? How they just say my name is Rafid? I'm going to miss all my homies and some of the good teachers that were here. It just made my experience better. Uh, playing lacrosse with my friends. Probably my friends and just my teachers. Not the school work though. <laughs> Definitely Friday nights at the Frank during football season. Anything else? Uh, probably the sub line. They got some smacks <laughs> up there. <laughs> now let's have some fun. How did this year change you and what did you miss out on? So I think uh, 
this school year and this past year in general has definitely taught me to be more patient, um, more accepting of people. Um, because, you know, with accepting people, it was always a thing of patience with me. You know, I, I would get irritated a lot. But I've, I've learned to just, you know, accept the moment, accept people, and uh, just be a much more patient person. Um, obviously, it was at a cost, though. It was a, it was a pretty rough year. But um, something I missed out on, of course, was just uh, socializing, uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> the year was a little bit wonky with the schedule and everything, but... You know, uh, I think overall it ended okay. I'm, I'm pretty content, or I'm as content as I could be, so yeah. The thing I missed out on the most this year was probably senior prom. I was really looking forward to it. Ever since I saw my big brother go to it, I always wanted to go to prom, and that really was sad to not have a real prom this year. This year has changed me a lot as a person. It's taught me to be grateful for what I have and to express gratitude when I'm able to. And it taught me that you know, you need to be thankful for the little things. I mean, you know, I didn't love going to school. I didn't love having to wake up at 5.30 every morning and, you know, make it to school on time and everything. I didn't love that. But I, I wish I had. I wish I had enjoyed it more because there is no guarantee of that anymore. There just isn't. And it just, just um, hurts me to think about how ungrateful I was before and how I didn't even like think twice about those types of things. This year changed me in other ways as well. Um, it made me sad a lot of the time and it made me realize, you know, things aren't guaranteed. I'm not guaranteed a senior homecoming and I'm not guaranteed a prom. I'm not even guaranteed to graduate with my friends. And that is really hard for me to say. And I know that we need to be safe and that we need to think of others and their safety. I 100% understand that. But we can still be sad that we missed out on our senior year. No other seniors have missed out on everything from their last year. So one thing that changed me this year is probably that I'm more reserved. I'm normally someone who's like outgoing and like I'll make friends easily, I'll talk to anyone. But this year, since I don't even know half the kids in my class, I just feel like I need to keep my mouth shut, keep my head down and just do my work until the end of the day. So there's no, there's no of that like social interaction anymore, which kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. One thing that I feel like I missed out on is getting to bond like with my whole senior class. I mean, obviously missing out on like my entire like senior year, like football season, all of that. Um, it definitely does take a toll on, you know, how your school school year went. I can't look back and say, oh yeah, like we won at ICG, like the student section was like unbelievable this year. There's just none of that um, interaction with people anymore. So I feel like I really missed out on that. Personally, I think this year changed me for the better, mentally and physically, because I spent more time alone and it was just all around a time to reflect and improve on things about yourself and to see the world differently and see others. The things I missed out on was having more time to spend with the people around me and our year together as a senior class. We didn't have the games, we didn't have homecoming, just everything that you would look forward to in a senior year we didn't get to have, so it was kind of disappointing. But all around, I think, I think we'll take this as a learning experience and into our life ahead. I think I changed a lot this year just by like learning to not care about what others think and just like really becoming myself more and just, I don't know, being away from everyone for a while just made me real like work on myself a lot more and just, I don't know, realize that that's really what matters and not like what everyone else has to say. Um, I miss out on a lot of senior events. I mean, we all did. I have definitely have not been as social. I'm really just trying to graduate at this point, so I don't, I don't really feel like doing anything. I just want to get out of here. Um, for our sports teams, we've missed out on a lot of team bonding, and that's a big thing when it comes to high school sports. That's what it's all about, is bonding with your teammates that go to school with you and stuff like that. A uh, thing that I think I missed out most of for this year was probably the nostalgia of everything. 
just because I never was one that really liked school or enjoyed coming to school. But the idea of my senior year and like it being all about us and like, I don't know, it's the last hoorah of everything. And I didn't know that my last football game was my last football game. I didn't know when we were gonna come back to school and it was just kind of all really surreal and really shocking. And I kind of thought I was gonna have the last part of my senior year as like normal. So just the nostalgia of everything, that really sucked getting all of that taken away from you. And it's really nobody's fault either. COVID has changed me a lot as a person. Um, not just my hair color, but I have definitely became more empathetic towards people and I now know how to see things from a different perspective than maybe I would have never looked at before. And I always know that grass isn't greener on the other side. And you never know what could, someone could be going through. So um, I like that COVID made me more of an empathetic person because now it's easier to be around people and make friends. This year was not easy, but we made it. And this will always be a year to remember. Congrats, class of 2021. Sometimes you gotta close the door to open a window. I saw a photo you the joints. My eyes are green, I need my veggies. I need to get her out the picture. She's really fucking up my frame. My brother said I'm on the spectrum Don't call me selfish, I hate sharing This 6040 is working I want a hundred of your time Your mind Sazensal and I teach uh, freshman English all day. Uh, near the end of the school year, we did an assignment where they had to write a letter to themselves. My hope for this assignment was that they would be truthful and honest and, uh, and capture their reality during that time. And then four years later, see how their reality changed. Uh, they were given these letters and uh, now we're seeing the results of those. Um, probably about MSU, how I used to want to go there, but mm, don't feel like it anymore. Oh, it was freshman year, so I was probably just talking about like fishing and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. It's something about sports, you know, making friends, having a good high school life, you know. I don't really remember. I feel like I wrote about like my freshman year boyfriend, so. I really was just going to say about that. <laughs> like, I really don't know. That's all I've been thinking about I could say. I'm nervous. I don't want you guys to listen. Through the many years, I've become a great person through the community. I am known as hardworking, nice, and a good kid. The sports teams I've been on help me focus on the good things and keep me out of trouble. To myself, I'm going to be a great guy with a 3.5, and my girlfriend is going to be <laughs> no, cut. She is gonna be my. I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. Um, senior year, I'm gonna have all type of football coaches come to look at me. They're gonna have the same friends, Sean, Brandon, and Jimmy, Jonah, and I'm going to be something big for the school and for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was in love freshman year. 15 year old me was going through it. I was grounded. My love in the outdoors gave me a different view on everything. 
and gave me the knowledge few people have. My parents are probably the people who have the biggest impact in my life because I've known them my whole life and they raised me they raised me, so they made decisions about me growing up that would impact my actions and my future actions. My coaches have taught me what it takes to be successful, so I try to do that when needed, and it, it works out, but without my mom and my dad, nothing is possible for me that has happened so far. My dad is the hardest worker I know, and my mom will do anything for me. My mom has helped me along the way, even though we fight all the time, I love her more than she knows to my friends, family, and Clark. <laughs> I hope you're all still alive when I read this, and I love you all. Thank you for always making me smile and laugh. <laughs> so after high school, I plan on going to college at Michigan State. Hopefully by now, I will know where I want to go for college, hopefully for a sport. I'm going to go to college either for track or for football. I don't know yet, and I want to get my license in real estate and move to Texas. Well, I'm going to Michigan State, so I'll be at Michigan State in the next four years. In four years, I'm planning to be graduated from Northern University with a master's in business, and I will be attending law school after that. I kind of want to just go to a community college, but away. So I might go to Delta. Okay, and then why were they like the only class that did it, like the only like year? Well, it's not a part of our curriculum. The reason why I did it, quite frankly, is just because this class, I just felt a special connection with them. Um, it was a year that uh, my husband became very, very ill. And so this class uh, worked me through that and helped me through that as best as they could and adapted to uh, crazy changes in lesson plans and me trying to uh, guide them through the curriculum while I was dealing with a lot of stuff myself. So when we got to the end of the school year, I wanted to do something that that they could appreciate. Spiling up just like a rich staircase. No fly zone, please stay the fuck out my airspace. Say things behind my back, shit they wouldn't dare say. I know it's on sight when I see you, I'm working at Squarespace. Yeah, top of the morning, I know that you thought I was dormant. Woke up early from shots that was swarming, a block from the Alps, not a cops in the orbit. Cause somebody got popped, now they knocking on doors, trying to find an informant. But I ain't seen Nathan, I'm minding my business, as God is my witness, the weapon gon' prosper that's forming against me. I'm starving, he miss me. Know when I'm done with these songs, you gon' miss me. John Moran, I'm on my grizzly. Use against his cuz, but no, not the ones in the big leagues. After the fall off, I promise I'm coming and selling our Wrigley's. I'm just a product of poverty, full of narcotics to profit off quickly. My family tree got a history of users that struggle with demons, not really the hustler instincts. Therefore, often my pockets was empty. So I summoned my partner was serving up on the corners of project assemblies. Me, I was starting to envy. Wanna be on the top where it's plenty. Wanna be in a spotlight where every want me like Rihanna dropping new Fenty. What I see in the sky, the villas are silly. Can't reach up too high, evidently. Nah. I can't reach up too high, evidently. Never seen anyone driving a Bentley. I can't be out here mopping up Wendy's. My life is all I have My rhymes, my pen, my pad And I done made it out to struggle, don't judge me What you're saying now won't budge me Cause where I come from so often People you grow with laying in a coffin But I done made it through the pain and strife It's my time now, my world, my life, my life Say what? The stuff that I seen got me traumatized. I let the K go when Johnny died. Swinging them, swinging them side to side. We don't participate, ain't with that squash. All we believe in is homicide. I got a good heart, so I send teddy bears every time we make their mamas cry. I pray that my past ain't ahead of me, Twin. When I'm in love, I love heavily. If you betray me, you dead to me, Twin. I disrespect you respectfully, girl. I got some partners who left this earth. Maybe the pain made a better one, God. Just know that they secrets is kept with me, God. I feel like the streets is in debt with me, God. I gave my heart away to all the dog, cause that's who it said to me, Twin. I blame my pops for that, cause if he didn't fail, he could've corrected me, Twin. Give all the props to my mama, cause no matter what, she always protecting me, God. I promise you, it ain't no checking me, God. Jump in the water, get wet with me, Twin. You want my money, I wanna have to so me, can't let the arts of the law get the best of me. I get the answer and you get the test of me. I see chicken, you just breast of me. So I'm here with Miss Lackey, and what and are Gil. some encouraging words, oh, and Gail, and what are some encouraging words you would like to say to the class of 2021? I'm just excited for your next step in this world and all the differences that you'll make. 
Um, Gil and I want to wish you the very best and please come back and visit and do it soon before um, you look so old I won't be able to recognize you. So thank you for coming to visit. Yes, Gil, any words? Hey, it's Miss Locker. I'm sure you remember me from East Middle School, eighth grade reading and language arts. Don't forget your DOLs. I know you guys all remember that. I just want to wish you the very, very best of luck and encourage you all just to follow your dreams and follow your passions. Remember, stay positive, stay true to yourself, and get out there and change the world. Bye. Hi, class of 2021. Congratulations. Um, way to go and way to power through a tough year. And a special shout out to my favorite graduate, Kai Hopewell. I love you. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 21. I can't believe you guys are already graduating. Uh, Mr. Malis here at West Middle School. I wish you all the best of luck, and I know you'll be successful in whatever you choose to do in the future. Uh, nice seeing you guys, and best of luck once again. Congrats to the class of 2021. I know this was the most awkward possible year and ending you could have ever had, um, but congratulations, and go rock the world. Good luck. Um, congratulations to the class of 2021. Um, you did a great job just getting through high school in general, but getting through high school in these crazy times. And best of luck as you go on and do everything you're going to do. I'm sure you're going to be great and we'll miss you here, but we're happy that you're going to have a great life after this. Congratulations class of 2021. I'm going to miss you. I'm so proud of you. Well, congratulations, class of 2021. You have made it through some of the wildest two years probably of your life. I'm so proud of you for sticking with it and persevering. Um, good luck, best of luck, keep in touch. Um, after these, these last two years, I know you have good things ahead of you. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Gorton. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Outstanding, you have so much to be proud of. Um, I wish you all the very best in everything that you do. Um, I remember you all in sixth grade. Um, keep being those amazing kids that you are, and I wish you all the best in all that you do. Thanks for this opportunity. Take care. Bye. Class of 2021, if you can survive the last year, you can do absolutely anything. I have no doubt that you will be amazing at life. I'm looking forward to hearing all of that. Also, if you could survive my sixth hour with Komari, you can also survive anything. Best of luck, class of 2021. Class of 2021, uh, I hope this year was as you made the best of it. Uh, you were my first year teaching, um, so I will always remember you guys. Um, I know this isn't how you planned it, but you have lots of good things coming. Uh, don't let one year you know, dictate your whole life. Go out and do great things. Uh, I know you can. I started here with you guys, and I hope you guys go on and accomplish the things you want to go. Hello class of 2021, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations on your accomplishments. I can't wait to hear all the good things that have yet that are, will be to come for you. Uh, we really look to you as leaders in our district and congratulations 2021, we're proud of you. Hi class of 2021, you guys were my first group of kids in Grand Blank and I'm so proud of you and you will always have a special place in my heart, good luck. Do your best, always come back and visit. We miss you. Uh, hey, congratulations, uh, class of 2021. It's been a haul, but you made it. I, I really hope that this past year or two has made you stronger and you will take the world on. I know you will. Go do it, bye. Congratulations, class of 2021. You guys have been through so much these last two school years. Way to persevere, way to stick with it. Um, you deserve nothing but the best in the future. Please know that you always have a home here at Grand Blank High School. We love you, I love you, um, I will miss you. Go out and do great things. To the class of 2021, you guys are gonna be so, so missed. I wish you guys all the best uh, in your future endeavors. Um, I'm gonna miss you. Hey class of 2021, I just wanted to say congratulations. This has been a wild ride, but you guys have persevered. Um, you've done some amazing things and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for you. So good job and good luck. Hi class of 2021, this is Miss Kenny. Uh, 
As you prepare to leave these halls, I of course have to be English teachery and share with you um, a few lines of one of my favorite poems for these sorts of milestones. It's a poem called The House Called Tomorrow by Alberto Rios. And these are the last few lines. Look back only for as long as you must, then go forward into the history you will make. Be good, then better. Write books, cure disease, make us proud. Make yourself proud. And those who came before you, when you hear thunder, hear it as their applause. Congratulations, class of 2021. You will always have a very special place in my heart. You were my very first group of kids that I had at Grand Blank for seventh and eighth grade for ETV. And once an ETV baby, always an ETV baby. And I'm rooting for everyone. All of you will do great. I'm so sad that you had such a different year, different experience for your senior year, but you've made the best of it and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. I wish you all the best. Thanks for thinking of me. Um, I miss all of you. Stop by and say hi. What's up, guys? Uh, it's Mr. Andreessen. Just wanted to say to the class of 2021, uh, best of luck in the future. I know a lot of you guys really well. I taught a bunch of you guys as freshmen and as juniors last year, so you, know, you guys have had a rough go, but you're making the best of it. And yeah, I hope you guys are the best. Hey, I just want to say congratulations. You guys have, have been through a lot the past two years and I think that's going to serve you well going forward. So uh, I'm going to miss most of you, almost all of you, and I want you to do, do well and, and go places and experience lots of things and, and remember your time during, as my, my seven-year-old says, during the time of the virus uh, and, and take advantage of all the opportunities you have because uh, as, as we know, this, this, this other stuff, we can all put behind us. But uh, congratulations and big things to you. Congratulations class of 2021. Nobody's had to overcome more obstacles than you have. You guys deserve it. Class of 2021, uh, congratulations. You guys have been uh, through so much. I got so many of you right behind me supporting you and me giving this message. Uh, do great things. I'm proud of you. Go Bobcats. Congratulations class of 2021. Good luck to everything you do in the future. We wish you the best. To the class of 2021, some of the most empathetic, amazing young people that I've ever had come across. I really want to see you guys succeed in life. I can't wait to see where you guys take this. Congratulations for getting through this. I love you all and I will miss you tremendously. Okay, so I've been asked what I would say to the class of 2021 as you guys prepare to head out of Grand Blank High School into the world. I can say that this has been a tremendously trying year and I have such tremendous faith that you guys are going to knock it out of the park. I know it's been tough, but I think that if we can get through this, you guys can get through anything. I am so proud of the hard work that you've done to get to this point and I can't wait to see what the future holds for each and every one of you. Have a great rest of the school year. Hi everybody, it's Mr. Banker here at East Middle School. So I was told that maybe I could say something to the graduating class and I, I honestly had to go back and like, who was even in that class anymore? Like it was so many years away. So I found an old yearbook. So when I taught you in 2016, you were all seventh graders. So let's take a little trip down memory lane. So going through here brought back a lot of memories. I'm seeing all the students that I used to teach I'm seeing all the field trips that we used to go on when we had the student staff basketball game. We went to Washington, D.C. together, and it just brought back a lot of awesome memories. So at the back of your yearbook back in middle school, they've said a lot of things of what was going on in the world. So when I taught you however many years ago in seventh grade, the first Apple Watch came out. The iPhone 6 was the newest phone, the iPhone 6S. Uh, they said that at that time, they were just kind of discovering water on Mars. We just sent a helicopter to Mars a few weeks ago. The Golden State Warriors won their first championship. And they've won a billion by now. I was just looking through this and it brought back a lot of memories. I feel very lucky to have been able to pass through all of your lives. I was thinking about what to say and we miss you. We wish you luck. 
We hope everything goes well. This is the start of whatever you choose to be. So whatever you want this new life to become, like it's up to you. And we at East Middle School want to say good luck. Bye kids.